Hi, second grade students. Today's story is from Knowledge 3 Lesson 5 called All for Sparta. Our first vocabulary word we're going to look at today is the word conquest. Repeat after me. Conquest. Conquest is the act of conquering or taking over something or someone. It means a win. Our next vocabulary word is the word permanently. Say permanently. Permanently means continuing in the same way without change for all time. And our last vocabulary word is the word Spartan. Say Spartan. Spartan means a harsh, strict, and uncomfortable lifestyle. Lysander was ready. This was his seventh birthday, and also the birthday of his twin sister, Diza whose name means double. This would be their last birthday celebration together, for when a boy in a city-state of Sparta turned seven, his life changed forever. Until now, Lysander had lived at home with his mother and sister. Occasionally, they saw Lysander's father whenever he visited home, for fathers did not live with their families in Sparta. Instead, all Spartan men served permanently in the Spartan army and lived in army camps. <coughs> On one of his visits, Lysander's father had explained, at the age of seven, a Spartan boy begins his formal training for life in the army. Spartan soldiers are the greatest in all of Greece, and if you are to take your place among us, you must start prepping early. You must make yourself as strong and as fast and as tough as you can. I expect you to run great distances, to climb steep mountains, and to swim in rough waters. Lysander's father went on, When I can, I will spend time here and show you how to use a sword and a spear, and also how to wrestle, although you will be trained completely in these and other fighting skills after you join the other boys in the army in the training camp. I expect the best from you, as Sparta expects what's best from all its people. Can you imagine having a conversation like this with one of your parents? To us today, the Spartan way of life seems terribly hard. Spartans had few comforts in life and had to accept many hardships. We even use the word Spartan today to describe something difficult that requires you to be strong in body and mind and that takes a great deal of self-discipline. To the Spartans, this was only the only way they knew how to live, but things had not always been this way. Long before the time of Lysander or his father, Sparta had just been one of the many city-states in Greece. The people of Sparta were farmers, seafarers, and merchants, like people in most of the other parts of Greece. But when Sparta grew overpopulated, the city-state decided to attack another city in order to have more land and food. The Spartans fought a long war of conquest against the city. This war was so difficult to win that the people of Sparta decided, we will rebuild our city and make Sparta the strongest military force in the world so that no one will be able to attack us or fight back against us. We will make all of Sparta into one great fighting machine, and every citizen must do his or her part to make that machine unstoppable. All of our men will be soldiers, and we will train them to be mighty warriors. Our women will learn how to run and wrestle so that they too will be strong, but their jobs will be different. The women must be able to give birth to many children and do even the most difficult jobs at home while the men are off fighting. <clears throat> the military city-state of Sparta completely changed the way they lived in order to make this happen. Few people got to vote on how the government would work or what it would do. In fact, women were not allowed to vote or take part in the government at all, but were supposed to concentrate on life at home. Even among the men, Few were allowed to make any decisions. There were two kings instead of one, so one person could not take hold of all the power for himself. The two Spartan kings, in addition to helping run the government, led the Spartan armies. If one died in battle, the other would still be alive to lead the Spartans. To pass laws, there was a council, or group of people chosen to look after the interests of this group, made up of 28 elders and two kings. Whereas the two kings could be younger, the other men in the council had to be at least 60 years old to be sure they had enough life experience to help run the city-state as the Spartans thought it should be run. Sparta was mostly what we call a closed society. 
That is, the Spartans did not conduct a lot of business with other parts of Greece. Instead, they tried to make or grow in their own city-state all they would need in order to survive. They did not want to open themselves up to other people's ideas on how to live, or to a possible invasion by another city-state. <clears throat> As he celebrated his seventh birthday, Lysander thought, Today, I will leave my family home to begin training as a, so a soldier. Later in that day, a husky Spartan soldier came to the house to lead Lysander away. The fellow introduced himself as Platon, which means broad-shouldered in Greek. Lysander wanted to look brave in front of him, so he did not cry when he said goodbye to his mother and sister. Still, when his sister Disa whispered, I will miss you, he whispered back, I will miss you too. As Lysander marched off with Platon, the soldier told him, Your father and I served together in war. In fact, he saved my life. So when I heard his son was going to join us, I requested the chance to bring you to your new home. The soldier continued, Life at the training camp will be very difficult from what you have known. They will take away your shoe so you will learn how to march and run barefoot in an emergency. You will get rough old clothing to wear. It's not comfortable, but neither is armor, and you may as well get used to the discomfort. As for the food, Platon grinned, it's even worse than what we soldiers eat, and there's not enough to fill your belly. But sometimes the soldiers will offer you and the other boys some nice, fresh cheese, if you can get to it. The soldiers won't make it easy for you, only the bravest and strongest boys will be able to accomplish that feat. Or the hungriest, Lysander said. Tom grinned at him again. I think you are going to do just fine, he said, and they marched onward together. <laughs>